Hello my chaps and chapsticks, I'm Lemons and welcome to my review of Zero Degrees for PS4, Xbox One and Nintendo Switch. I'll be playing the PS4 version of the game. It was published by East Asia Soft and was developed by Nerd Games and Kiddo Dev. Zero Degrees is a puzzle platformer set in a mystical snowy world. You play through bite-sized levels as you try to get from point A to point B by solving various block puzzles. Now, by this description alone, this game doesn't exactly sound the greatest, but I actually really enjoyed my time with this game. The game's snowy atmosphere really stood out to me. It was like the same thing with Crossbow Crusade, another game that I've reviewed on my channel. You see... Crossbow Crusade stood out to me because of its gory atmosphere and how pixel art games don't really seem to replicate that kind of style. And here, in Zero Degrees, this snow world gives me that same feeling and it's good to see a game with pixel art try out this snowy style. Now, what do these block puzzles actually consist of? Well, in this game, you play as this little Eskimo looking dude who can shoot out blocks of ice by pressing R1. You'll be using these blocks to platform through stages and putting them on buttons to open up a door that leads to the exit of the level. You only have five blocks at the start of the level and when they're gone, you're not getting them back. So you have to be strategic about where you place them. As you progress through the game, you gain the ability to freeze blocks with the press of L1. This means that you can freeze blocks in mid-air, leading to some fun platforming shenanigans. You also get the ability to refill the amount of blocks you have by walking into this thing. So, in these further levels, when your blocks are gone, you are getting them back? I think I only have two negatives about this game. The first negative being the music. At first, I didn't mind the game's simple chiptune soundtrack, but then I realised that this game's soundtrack was only taken up by one song, and it started to get on my nerves, especially this part. My other negative about this game was the length. Now... This is reminding me of Tamiku, yet another game I reviewed on the channel that I really enjoyed greatly, but was sad to see that it was so short. There's 40 levels in this game, so yeah, not a lot. It was definitely good while it lasted, but I do wish that it had been longer. And there you have it, that was my review of Zero Degrees. I'm going to give this game a review score of... 7.5 out of 10. It could definitely have a boost in length, and it definitely needs some more songs, but I did really enjoy my time with this game, and I loved its unique take on the genre. You have just been watching me, Lemons, review Zero Degrees. Goodbye, and have a wonderful day.